we are going to share with you a brief video, hopefully it will be brief, um, in how to use our new software tool for ministry scheduling. And the new tool is to be a useful tool for you, not just for us. But I have to say that we have found it to be very useful in the church office in scheduling the mass ministries. So hopefully uh, what you'll find is that this is also very useful for you as a user. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. On July 10th, you're going to receive an email. And that email is going to contain this web address as well as your username and password. And if you go to that web address, my web connection is a little bit slow right now, but there we go. Go to that web address, it's going to bring you here to the login page, and then you're going to put in your username and your password. And log in. There's also an iPhone and an Android app. I just want to mention that before I forget. Um, that is just another little handy uh, feature to keep on your smartphone for use in managing your schedules and finding subs and filling sub requests and such. This is the home screen when you, once you are logged in, and it just kind of tells you the tabs that are available to you. Um, this is me, Pam, um, and these are the tabs. So if you, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in into the My Schedule tab. This tab is interesting. It's got, um, it, I know that uh, when Shar first sent out the schedules for this round of scheduling, the June, July, August time frame, she sent everybody just a brief summary of when they serve. And I think that's really a very easy way for people to look at the schedule for three months. Um, right now it's not showing me the June dates because that is in the past. But what this screen will normally do, it will show you all the dates that you have remaining in this calendar period. So currently this would show you anything for Jul July and August that you have, that you're serving. On the screen you can also click request a sub and request somebody to fill a position for you. So I was scheduled for July 29th and what you know what it does once you click request a sub it kicks you over to this full schedules tab and it opens this little pop-up window. So I can say unfortunately I thought I was going to be here but I'm going to be going out of town on July 29th. Can somebody please fill in for me? And I can type that in there and then click request sub. I'm going to click never mind because I'm just trying to show you I'm not actually trying to request a sub. Um, this is the full schedules for that particular day. So it just kind of shows you um, who is scheduled on July 29th um, and what, you know, it, it can make it a little easier for you to just say, well, I, I don't want to send an email to everybody. I would just simply like to request, I know so-and-so, I know that person is not on the schedule here, but they would probably be able to fill the, the spot for me. So you can look at this if that helps you. Um, but going back to that My Schedule tab, I want to quick show you... Um, a couple other things that are on that tab, if my internet will cooperate with me here. Um, in a moment. Okay, so you can request a sub. You can see all the dates you still have to serve during this calendar period of the three-month period of scheduling. And then you can also click to export your calendar, these dates, to your Google Calendar or to your iCal or Outlook calendar. Um, for me, that is a terribly handy feature. I live by my calendar, and that's the only way that I know which way I'm going and, and for who and, and where. <laughs> so um, that can be awfully handy, and I, I think that probably a lot of you will find that feature to be a very nice feature. Uh, next is the full schedules, and once the internet takes me there, we will see the, the, the schedules for the entire three-month period. So this scheduling period was June, July, and August, like I said. So June 3rd through August 27th. That's the weekends that fall in that June, July, and August period. Um, this was the first weekend, and it shows who served, because it's in the past, it shows who served on that 5 p.m. Mass on June 3rd, and the 8.30 Mass on June 4th, and then the 10.30 Mass on June 4th as well. And so you can clear, clearly see who was scheduled for each of these positions. Because I was on the schedule that weekend, my, I'm, my name is highlighted there just to show me so that when I look at this full schedules for the full three months, I can easily just skim through and see my name. It's highlighted in green. So I'm serving that date. I'm also going to be serving on July 23rd at 8.30 Mass. 
Um, now what you can also see here is that when I'm serving in the past, it just has it listed, Pamela Vote, second reading. Um, but down here, where it's in the future, it also has request a sub. So if for some reason I can't make it, I was expecting it could could make it to the to that weekend, so I never re requested that time off, um, and I got scheduled. But now something has come up, and I need to request a sub. I can click this button, and I can request a sub right here. So just like on the previous tab where you were able to request a sub, it brings up the same pop-up window. Now, additionally, on past weekends, you can't um, click volunteer now. Let's see. Let's go to the past weekend. So June 24th and 25th. I can't say, well, I'd like to volunteer now for this position um, as a communion minister at the 830 Mass on June 25th because it's in the past, so I can't volunteer to help there. Uh, now, on this weekend, July 8th and 9th, I can click, hey, I would like to help out. They're short, and I'm not serving at the 830 or 1030 Mass on Sunday. I'll go to 5 p.m. Mass that weekend, and I'm going to help out. So I can click this. And it's going to add my name here and then add this date to my calendar. Um, I cannot click here because I'm not an altar server. And I cannot click here because I'm not a greeter. So that is kind of the, the uh, ins and outs of this screen. Um, if I wanted to see just a particular date, then I can go back over here. This is my schedule and click on that date and it will show me just that date. So if I click on August 13th, then it brings me back to this full schedules tab, but it's only showing me August 13th. So, um, and I happen to be serving that date. Then there is the rosters. Um, and under here, you're going to see the rosters for the ministries that you are signed up for. So I happen to be a lector and a communion minister. So those are the rosters that I can see. And I'm not going to click on them just because um, they're... Uh, there's private information, you know, there's um, people's email and phone information on that roster list, as you all know. And so, since this is going to go out on the web, I just didn't want to click on it and put it out there for everybody to see. Um, so, you're going to see the rosters that are available to you, but if you click on this, it's going to list out all the lectors and which times they serve, um, which mass they usually attend, and their name, name, phone number, and email address. Um, if you click on my profile, that is where you can change your address, um, phone number, and email address. There's your phone address and email address. And I can click this button to say, send me an email whenever somebody sends sub requests that I can fill. So I can fill communion minister or lector. So whenever somebody sends out a request to fill a sub position for you know, to, to have, they're looking for a sub for them on a certain date for a lector, I'm going to get the email. Um, if I uncheck this box, then I'm never going to get any emails when people are looking for a sub. But if I keep it checked, I'm only going to get the requests when they pertain to me. So I'm not a greeter. I will never get an email when somebody is looking for a sub as a greeter. Um... I can also change my password here, and I can also change, if I say, you know, I really would like to become a greeter. There's six greeter positions listed here, you don't need to worry about that, but I can click add, I would like to be a greeter. It moves it over here to my ministries. I'm, I'm going to change that because I'm never um, able to, to be a greeter <laughs> because I'm just barely getting, getting there on time. Um, and then um, this is where I can change the mass that I prefer to to serve at. Um, I can say I prefer to serve at either 8.30 or 10.30, so I could add 10.30 in here. Um, and then I could say, or I could say, I will only serve at 8.30 and 10.30, so I could add 10.30 here. And then once I add it, I could say, only schedule me at these times. Or I could say, you know, I prefer to be scheduled at 10.30 or 8.30, but I could serve at 5, too, if they really need me. So then I just uncheck this, and it would schedule me wherever I'm needed, kind of. Um, so that's just kind of what that checkbox is for. And what, adding the, you can add the masses that you prefer to serve at. 
this is a spot where you can say, I really can only serve like once a month. That's my limit. Um, I, otherwise, it's just too hard for me to keep track of or, or too many days that I, that I have to be there at a certain time or that I have to show up 15 minutes earlier or whatever. Whatever reason it is that you just want to serve once a month or twice a month or um, maybe, maybe five times a year or whatever it is, you can set that selection here. Um, and then these are the dates that you're going to be away, that you don't want to be scheduled. So these are the dates that I put in um, back in May and said, I know you're making the June, July, and August schedules. I can't be there on these dates. So you now have the capability of adding those dates in yourself. And when you do, these are the options that you have. You can say, I'm not going to be here for the whole month of July, so I'm just going to put July 1st through July 31st right here. Um, another thing you can do is you can say, None of my family can serve during that time, too, because we're all going to be gone for that whole month. Or you can check this box and say, you know, every single year I'm gone from July 1st through July 31st. So um, these dates, July 1st through July 31st, let's just go ahead and repeat that every single year by checking this box. One final thing you can do here is you can say, you know, the only ministry I can't do in July, from July 1st through July 31st, or whatever dates you put here, um is I can't be a community minister during that month. So that's this window allows you to really kind of pinpoint the various things you can't do and which dates you can't do them. Um, down here, you can leave a note for Char as she's creating schedules so that she knows whatever it is that you need to tell her. And then finally, there is this help tab where you can... Uh, watch another video that's one that they created where at the um this rotunda software who created this this web portal so this is from their perspective a description on how to use this web portal you may find that more helpful you may find it less helpful um, there's also a link right here that you can click and it will download a printable guide for you and how to use all these things that i just showed you now the one final thing that you can do and this is really helpful for people who have spouses or children who serve also, is you can look at their schedules and you can request a sub for them. Or you can go in and look for, well, they really, they're really looking to try to be an altar server this weekend. Let me see if there's any sub spots open or uh, places where they didn't have enough volunteers. So you can go in for them and you can, you can uh, do all the things that I just showed you. All these tabs are available. It's going to look exactly the same, only it's going to pertain to whoever you click on here. So if I click on Sierra, I'm going to go to my schedule, and then I'm going to see her schedule for when she's serving as an altar server, because that happens to be what she, what ministry she is involved in. And now we're waiting for my internet connection. Oh, it didn't seem to get... Oh, we do have Sierra. Okay. So here is the My Schedule tab for her. And now, as you can see, since I have Sierra selected, it's showing me all the dates that she is an altar server remaining in this June, July, and August scheduling period. So that is kind of all of it in a nutshell. Um, we are really hopeful that you will find this as uh, user-friendly and as easy and as convenient as we have found it in the church office. We really believe that you will, otherwise we wouldn't uh, even try to roll it out to you. We would just simply use it in the office without you ever having to even touch it. Um, the only reason we are sharing this with you is because we do believe that most of you, and we know that not all of you, but most of you are going to really enjoy all the features that are available in here in this web portal and also on the iPhone and Android apps. So give it a try. Um, we just didn't want you to feel intimidated. That's why we wanted to make this quick video. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. If you are um, adamant that you do not want to use this, then just let us know. And if you uh, really do want to use it, but you need a little more help than this video can provide or that their help section can provide, um, stop by the church office and we would be happy to, to try to give you a quick little rundown in person to um, help you because it is a very, very useful tool. So thanks a lot and we hope you enjoy.